A sofa is often one of the most expensive furniture purchases you'll make for your home, so it's natural to want to do your research and buy the best quality sofa you can afford. So what should you look for when buying a sofa? Well, there are five key features of a high quality sofa that you need to know about, and I'm going to break them down in this video for you so that you'll have all the knowledge you need next time you're shopping for a sofa. The first feature of a high quality sofa is the frame. The best quality sofa frames are made from dense, kiln dried hardwoods like walnut, maple, oak, or ash. These also tend to be the most expensive type of frame construction, but these sofas will last the longest, so the expense is worth the investment. Metal sofa frames are really durable, and they're really great for sofas that are going to get heavy use, but they can often be more expensive than hardwood frames, and not all metal frames are created equal. Some metal frames could warp or bend. Now here are some things that you'll need to avoid. Some sofa frames are made from softer woods like pine, and these tend to be more affordable. However, pine is not quite as strong and it doesn't tend to last. So in other words, your pine frame sofa could have structural issues within just a few years. Number two is the suspension system. The suspension system consists of springs that will support the seat cushions and they are critical to the overall comfort of the sofa. Now the gold standard for high quality sofas is eight way hand tied springs. This is the most comfortable and durable suspension system that you can buy, but it also happens to be the most expensive. Another common suspension type is sinuous springs. These are sometimes referred to as serpentine springs or S springs, and they're constructed with heavy gauge wires that snake and twist into S shaped coils, just like in the picture on the right. Here are the suspension systems that you'll want to avoid, pocket coils, drop-in coils, and webbing. They may be more affordable, but they don't do a good job of distributing the weight evenly, and they can be pretty uncomfortable to sit on. Number three is quality joinery. Joinery refers to how different wood pieces and furniture are joined together. How the frame is joined together is a really important factor in the quality of the sofa. Mortise and tenon, which is tabs of wood inserted into holes like in the picture you see on the right, is considered the premier method of joinery for the longest lasting frames. Now when looking at a sofa, check out the corners where the pieces of wood are joined together. If you see little blocks of wood in the corners or triangles that are screwed in place to reinforce that corner, you can feel really good about the quality of the frame construction. Now, what should you avoid? If the sofa frame is held together with just a combination of nails, staples, and glue alone, then you are looking at a very low quality sofa frame. These materials can be used to help reinforce a sofa frame, but they shouldn't be the only methods used for joining. One good way to test for solid frame construction is just to lift up on the frame a bit and give it a little jiggle. If you can feel the frame move rather than it feeling like a heavy solid unit, walk away. This is a sure sign that the construction quality is poor and this sofa is not going to last. Number four is wrapped cushions. The best quality sofa seat cushions are typically made from a high density foam core that is wrapped with either a layer of polyester batting or some down blend. Seat cushion density and firmness is going to be a personal preference. Some people love the feeling of sinking into a sofa and others love a nice firm supportive seat. So be sure to test different seat cushion options to see which ones you like best. Now, when it comes to back cushions, they tend to be made of a polyfiber or a microfiber fill or down. Great back cushions will have channels sewn into them to ensure that the filling doesn't move around. This is gonna be really important if you don't want your back cushions to look saggy. Now, here's what you need to avoid. Seat cushions that are all foam or that are only made of down. The all foam cushions are less expensive but they're usually not very thick or very comfortable. And then cushions that are all down are sometimes found in expensive sofas, but they don't usually have enough structure to them, so they will flatten out in time. Number five is a great variety of fabric choices. Fabric choice often comes down to choosing something that is going to work best for your lifestyle. Now, a great quality sofa brand will have a variety of fabric materials, colors, and textures for you to choose from, including performance fabrics. Leather is another great upholstery option for sofas. Not only does it look fantastic, but it's very easy to clean and it holds up well. When it comes to leather, it's best to choose a high quality option. You don't wanna go low quality on leather. 
So if you're shopping for a leather sofa, be sure to choose one that is described as top grain or full grain. These leathers are made from the outermost layer of the hide, which is the strongest part. Now, when it comes to fabrics, here's what you need to avoid. Bonded leathers. These do not last. Low cost synthetic fabrics. And then if you have kids, I strongly suggest you avoid silk or velvet as your cover. So let's do a quick review. The five features of a high quality sofa are number one, a hardwood frame. Number two, a spring suspension system. Number three, really good quality joinery of the wood pieces. Number four, wrapped cushions. And number five, having a variety of fabrics to choose from. Buying a sofa for your home is a big purchase and it shouldn't be taken lightly. It can be one of the most expensive furniture pieces you buy for your home. So it's important to do your homework and get the best quality sofa you can afford. And remember, a higher upfront investment is going to be worth it in the long run because a better quality sofa is going to last you a lot longer than one with low quality. So one question you might be asking now is what are the best quality sofa brands? Well, I have a great blog post for you that summarizes all of the things that we talked about today, as well as listing some of the main furniture brands categorized from good, better to best. If you'd like more tips like these, hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss a future video. You can also head on over to my website, welshdesignstudio.com to download some free resources that will help you with your biggest home decorating challenges.